Hello everyone, this is Daniel Cormier. I'm filling in for Tommy Toehold. He OD'd on some steroid suppositories, and he'll be out until next Wednesday. So I'll be here taking his place to ironically interview my bitter rival, John Jones. We'll be right back after the intro. Okay, John, we're going to start this interview in just a few minutes. I'm glad you're doing this interview, Daniel, because you're going to need to build up your resume after I literally beat the shit out of you, you pussy. Shit is going to fly everywhere. Literally. I'm gonna whoop your ass, you punk ass bitch. I hate puppies. Ha! I never cut away for an intro, John. Everybody heard everything you just said, and they know you're so fake, John Jones. They know you hate puppies. I was hacked. I swear, if I wasn't sitting down right now, I would throw a shoe in your fucking face, John. Yeah, well, respectfully, you suck at throwing shoes, pussy, okay? You threw a shoe at me, and it hit Heidi Fang. I literally look nothing like Heidi Fang. And you're respectfully the worst shoe thrower I've ever seen. It's almost as bad as your wrestling. I took you down so easy, I can't believe you suck at the Olympics so bad. Way to ruin America, pussy. John Jones, you took me down when I was wearing khakis. While I was worried about the safety of Dave Schaller. That man has a family, John Jones and you hilariously pushed him off the stage. But don't worry, John. As far as I know, I'm not going to be wearing khakis during our fight, and Dave Schaller's not going to be there next Saturday, John. Okay, you're so fucking dumb, pussy. Literally, he will be there. He just won't be in the cage. Whatever, John Jones. Let's just start this damn interview. All right, my first question for you is how are you such a giant piece of shit? How is that even possible, John Jones? Oh, okay. My first question for you, respectfully, is why are you always wearing the same blue shirt to everything? Get some clothes, pussy. I only have one shirt, John Jones, because I lost weight and I gave all my fat clothes to my fat friends. And I don't want to have to replace my whole wardrobe. I can take my shirt off at the end of the day, John. You can't take shit off. I'll tell you what I can take off, Daniel. I can take off your face in two weeks, and that is literally what I'm going to do to you. You're literally going to take my face off, John. Yes. Literally. Literally. You think I'm just going to stand there and let you take my face off, John? That I would just stand there while you surgically remove my face, like in Face Off, John. Like you're Nicolas Cage, John Jones. That is exactly what I'm literally saying will happen, respectfully. How are you going to beat me next Saturday, John? How? How are you going to beat me? Well, lots of spinny things and elbows and eye pokes. You going to poke me in the eyes, John? Hashtag haters in the building. They're not eye pokes, okay? It's a legitimate technique. It's literally science. Something you probably know nothing about, respectfully. I'm digitally scanning your orbital apertures systematically. You're shoving your fucking fingers in people's eyes, John. Yeah, well, try and stop me, pussy. What are you going to do when I throw you in the air like Dan Henderson, John? Dan Henderson is 93 years old. I'm surprised he didn't just float away at some point. I'm going to take that belt off your hands next week, John. Don't you worry. Daniel, respectfully, you're five six. How are you even going to hit me? Oh, trust me, I can jump pretty high, John Jones. You're not taking the belt because I never bring it out with me, so you literally won't be able to get it. Because if you see the belt, you're going to win because it has magical powers. You know what that belt is, John? It's an albatross around your neck. The weight of that belt is going to cripple you Saturday night, John Jones. And at some point during that fight, you're going to look me in the eyes and you're going to say, I don't want to carry this anymore. I can't handle this burden of greatness, Daniel. And in that moment, John Jones, I'm going to set you free. I'm going to break the chains that bind you. All right, respectfully, I don't know what the fuck you just said, but it is literally the coolest thing I've ever heard. And it's still not going to change the fact that I'm going to beat that ass. Okay, John Jones, thanks for stopping by, you fake-ass piece of shit. Yeah, go fuck yourself, pussy. I got some selfies to take.